Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, if you are already a subscriber, welcome back. And if you're not, please like and subscribe and hit that like button and the bell so that you can be notified of new videos when they come out. So I have a box opening of that second kit that I was waiting for. I showed you the Kimberly kit last and I told you I was waiting for Johanna. She arrived. So we're going to open the kit together. I have not opened it yet. I just cut the box open. She just came about 15 minutes ago. Under paper. Okay, there is, there it is. Here is her, now she was one of the, remember I was telling you about the kits when they go on sale? I got this kit for under $50 for the kit and the body. And she does come with a COA. Johanna. And here's the body. Now they send the body with the strings. They're not gonna obviously send you the really I mean there's no difference in the bodies the only difference is this has strings and I already have zip ties I can thread through so other than that the body is the same so it's not like there's a quality difference or anything there because there really isn't hold on I'll be right back let me open this bag okay so here is the kit she is a real born. She is Johanna. She's actually a newer real born. She's not one that they've had out for a really long time. Right, here's her other little hand and she has her little pinky out, which I think that's really cute. And that's a really weird way to have your toes. I don't know if you can see that. Well, there it is. She's got her one little toe popped up above the other ones. That's kind of cute. And the other foot. And her head. I love her face. I think she's really cute. There she is. So that's Johanna. And... I know that some people have done her as a biracial baby. Um, I'm probably going to just do her as a Caucasian baby. I've seen her as both. Mm, but she's definitely going to be a girl. I think she looks all girl. And she's a good sized doll. She's going to be, I think she was 19 and a half inches. So she's going to be a pretty good size baby. And she was one that I actually got to keep. Um, she was not one that I was planning on selling unless I get her finished. And again, like Kimberly, if there is no bond there, then I will not keep the doll. Um, some people who don't know anything about reborning or collecting reborns, they don't understand what it means to bond to a doll. But um, basically, if if you just don't feel like this is going to be a doll that you're going to be picking up and dressing up and doing things with and paying attention to, then that would not be the doll for you. You have to make sure that when you see a doll or the kit already made um, on, the, on the site that sells them, when you see that kit, you'll know if that's going to be something that you're going to really want. And if not, then don't do it because you'll end up buying it and selling it, which, I mean, anybody can do that, but it's better to actually know offhand if you're going to really want that, that kit or not. Um, I actually have a couple of kits that I made for myself that... I haven't really done anything with as far as paying much attention to them. Um, my Levi kit that I made up there, um, obviously I, yes, turned her into a girl. She 
she gets a lot of my attention. And um, these other ones, I really haven't done a whole lot with uh, since I've laid them here. They really haven't been getting a whole lot of attention. But that does not mean that I want to sell them. Um, everyone up here, except for Maggie on the end over there, is a limited edition kit, which I will not sell my limited edition kits. Those are going to stay put. Um, she was, she, she can't get her anymore. The Evelyn by Cassie Brace. Um, Princess Charlotte, she is no longer in production, so I'm keeping her. So, if I decide to sell anything, it would probably be Maggie. But I don't know. I mean, she's cute in her own way. I kind of like the full body. And, um, she's really cute. Peanut, like the peanut kit. The Haley Andrea kit. Sailor Rose. Everybody likes Sailor. That's Ramsey by Cassie Brace. And that's the Raphael. And I can never I can never pronounce this one's artist's name. Um, and then of course I went and bought the Ivita silicone. Which I've still not done anything with her. I just I've been dressing her, but um I mean this the quality of the silicone is there. They just, detail-wise, um, they put a little bit of factory paint on her, but she has no eyelashes. Oh, there's certain things that just, uh, it's not done. I mean, it, it gives the satisfaction of owning a silicone, but it's not the same thing as a high-end silicone um, as far as the detail. She is made of platinum silicone, though, so she's still good. But, um... Yeah, so my collection is growing by two more, Johanna and Kimberly. Um, and we'll see how they come out. I mean, I'm going to show everybody pictures. Um, I'm actually going to go work on the two that I was working on that are on the videos that you've probably seen on here. Um, the Hazel kit, which is the crying kit, and the Ellery, which is the little Asian preemie. But I do want to get some more work done. Um, I got the creasing and the veining done. And I still have to do some more layering on them. So I'm probably going to go work on them now because I did have the day off today. So um, I don't know if I'm going to do a live video because my our electricity here keeps popping off. So I don't want to have my live feed be interrupted. So I may not do a live. I may just end up... Uh, working on them and then putting a video up of the progress so stay tuned and you may see a live you may not <laughs> but when I do it live I don't do it here I do it on Facebook and then I just transfer it so anyways that's all for now God bless I'll talk to you soon